And after a hiatus because of the pandemic, our friends at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum are back cooking with us with new segments shot on location from the museum's kitchen on OC Haley Boulevard. Here's Liz Williams with some creative ways to use citrus in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Liz Williams here at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum. If you're like me, during the quarantine period, you have been cooking more and you are ready to start thinking of some new ways to perk up your cooking. So one of the things that I came up with was um, using orange peel. So I've been eating a lot of oranges and of course peeling them. And when I do that, I get these wonderful peels that are very thin. There's not a lot of pith on them. So I don't think this would work well with a navel orange or with a grapefruit because they have a lot of pith. But if you have a tangerine or if you have a, uh, an orange that doesn't have a lot of pith, I would say keep these peels. What I did was I kept the peels that are really in small pieces and I laid them out on a paper towel and basically left them on my counter and they dried hard. So they became hard like this. And I take these pieces that are just small and if they're big, I break them up and I put them into this blender. So we can blend them up. And when we do, we're gonna have a kind of orange peel dust. So this dust smells absolutely wonderful. It's just the smell of oranges. And you can see that it makes it's the kind of thing that would absolutely be delicious in almost anything that you might use an orange peel in. So there are millions of uses for this. This is a whole bit of about six or seven oranges that I've put together. And I really suggest that you use it a lot. You can use it any time that you might be adding a lemon peel or lemon juice or orange peel or orange juice to something. And one of the things that I really recommend that you do is that you take a little bit of sugar. So here, this is just plain granulated sugar. And you add a bit of the orange to the sugar and then Close up your jar and you merely shake it up. And what you find is that now you have this wonderful orange flavored sugar. And it's fabulous to put on top of oatmeal in the morning when you want something that's a little bit, um, a little bit different. Um, you can absolutely use it to sprinkle on top of sugar cookies to give a little orange kick to things. I've also used a little bit of this on glazed carrots. So if you're gonna add a little sugar to glaze them, then add this orange peel too, and you have a really, really tasty dish. So I hope you have a good time and you come visit us at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum. So when it's finished, you just take it out of the blender and let it work its magic. There are all kinds of things you can do with it. That looks very tasty. Next weekend, we'll learn how to make citrus vinaigrette dressing. There's always something happening at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum, by the way. Check out their website for details on upcoming cooking classes and events. That's all at southernfood.org.